Hello, this is Robbie Mitchell from Head in the Cloud Development, here to give you a demonstration of the SuiteMaps bundle for NetSuite. This video is being recorded using SuiteMaps version 2.4.0 on NetSuite version 2019.2. So what is SuiteMaps? To put it simply, SuiteMaps is Google Maps integration for NetSuite. The purpose of the bundle is to allow users to quickly map groups of customers, vendors, and transactions on a standard Google Map within the NetSuite environment. Users can control what is shown on the map by using predefined saved searches or by specifying filter criteria on the fly. Now a quick note on the version history here. SuiteMaps has been around in one form or another in NetSuite for nearly 10 years now. The important difference is that in version 1 of the bundle, the maps were all just dynamically generated on the fly in a SuiteLit, whereas now in version 2, a SuiteMap is a custom record that can be saved so you can view or edit it again later without having to start over. Also, this new version is built on SuiteScript version 2 using asynchronous APIs for vastly improved performance from the original version. Without further delay, let's look at SuiteMaps. After installing the SuiteMaps bundle, you'll have this new SuiteMaps v2 tab, which you can use to get to your SuiteMaps. Before I explain what everything is, let's do a very simple mapping. Let's map the results from the West Coast customers saved search. When I click on the saved search, you'll immediately see the customer results on the map here. And from here, if I click on any point, I can see the details of that customer. One thing I'll point out here is that this can make it quite easy to identify bad address data in your system. For example, my search is West Coast customers. But look, one shows up here in South Carolina. And if I click on it, the customer does actually have an Oregon address. This tells me that I should really double check the validity of this address if Google Maps thinks it's in South Carolina. Now that we have something on the map, I'll explain a bit more about the features we see on the screen. On the left are the map plotting controls. This is where you can select save searches, choose what color map marker to use, or do mapping based on relative locations. Below are some additional filters you may find helpful for limiting the results that you can see. You can use these in combination to a search that you have. Finally, at the very bottom, there's a record plugins sublist that you can use if you need to map custom records instead of built in standard NetSuite records. Let's try using an additional filter here with our saved search. If I select Mary Redding as the sales rep and click Map Results, now I see a subset of the customers from before, the ones that belong to Mary Redding. On the right is the directory of results mapped. This is simply a list of each customer that was successfully mapped. You can click on a link here to show that customer's marker on the map. So that was mapping a customer search. We can also map transaction searches. Let's say I'm a sales rep and I want to see where my recent sales are. For that, I'll select the My Recent Sales Orders saved search. And when you map transactions, the map marker also gives you a link directly to that transaction result in case you want to drill in to see more details. Now let's do another type of search. Let's do a radius search now. Let's say I'm planning to visit Faber Enterprises and I want to see who else is nearby that I can visit on the same trip. I'll search within 50 miles from them. So yeah, it looks like there are some other customers nearby that I could visit to make the trip more worthwhile. Finally, Let's search for a combination of things here. Let's find Mary Redding's corporate customers who are in closed one status. Here they are. Now we can use the save search button here to create a saved search from these results. We'll call it Mary Redding corporate customers. When you create a saved search, you'll have the option of going to view the results or to stay here in Suite Maps. Let's take a look at the results in a new tab. So here we can see the saved search that we just created from Suite Maps. And this concludes our tour of Suite Maps. If you want to try it, you can download it now on a 30-day free trial. Just go to the Customization menu, Suite Bundler, Search and Install Bundles. The SuiteMaps bundle ID is 92039. 
So you can click here to install it and use it for free with no commitment at all for 30 days. At Head in the Cloud Development, we are always looking for ideas to make our products better. Please get in touch with us if you have product feedback or if you're interested in purchasing SweetMaps. You can email us at gurus at headinthecloudev.com or contact us through our website at www.headinthecloudev.com. We'll see you at Sweet World. Thank you for watching.